Jake here with americantrucks.com and today I'm taking a look at this Navos full screen OE style radio upgrade with navigation for 2019 and newer Ram 1500s with the four or eight inch screen. Big screens are all the rage these days and if you're looking for a way to update the infotainment or integrate some more features into your Ram, then this Navos unit is gonna be right up your alley. This is a large 12 inch display that is going to upgrade not just the look but also the functionality in your truck in a way that appears factory fresh. If you're on the hunt for a way to add navigation or streaming apps, but you're not necessarily a fan of traditional aftermarket head units, this is gonna be a perfect option for you. Not only does it look like original equipment, but it seamlessly integrates your infotainment and climate controls into this one large display. There are a few things to note right out of the gate, however. If you are using any aftermarket CAN bus or OBD2 devices, this unit is likely not compatible and will not work with them. It also does not support factory air ride suspension. And if your Ram is a 2019 to 2021 classic model, you will need to get the 10.4 inch version of this unit as this one in particular will not fit with those. Now, if your Ram 1500 came with the small four inch or eight inch display from the factory and you're watching this video, you're definitely looking for an upgrade. Now going with an all new OEM unit is possible, but it could get very expensive. So something like this in the aftermarket is the way to go. And unlike most aftermarket solutions, this is gonna look right at home in your truck. No weird bezels or anything like that. It is designed to look like an OEM setup. So what we're looking at here again is a large 12.1 inch vertical capacitive touchscreen. It is Android based and it runs the 8.1 Oreo operating system, which means that in addition to the built-in apps and capabilities, you also have the option to run Android supported apps such as Waze, Google Maps, or Spotify, just to name a few. Of course, it also includes support for AM, FM radio, and it even has a navigation system built in that includes 2D and 3D modeling and 3D building views for some major cities. There is, however, a $150 activation fee for using the navigation application. You can also link Android and Apple devices via Bluetooth so you can stream music or make calls while out on the move, but it is worth noting that Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are not supported. However, you do get some other really cool features, including the integration of climate controls. Since this unit will take the place of your radio display and the HVAC controls in your truck, Navos found a way to integrate them. So when you power on the display, you'll see a row of buttons down here at the bottom that are always present regardless of what screen or function you're using. One of them is climate and tapping that will take you into a screen that allows you to adjust the fan speed, temperature, etc., as well as any other comfort items such as heated seats if your truck is so equipped. If your truck has a backup camera or parking sensors, these are also retained and the camera speed will display right here in the unit. You're gonna get a much better view of your surroundings since the screen is quite a bit larger than the factory one. And if you wanted to add additional cameras such as a forward facing one, those are supported here as well. It's a pretty fast unit too, and you get 64 gigs of internal memory, four gigabytes of RAM, as well as HDMI, RCA, and two USB inputs. So if you're planning on adding amps or subs or something else to your audio system, this has the capability to support all of that. However, that said, we do need to talk about pricing. Now this Navis unit is gonna run you around $1,500. And while yes, that's not exactly inexpensive, it does undercut quite a few of the other options out there for this generation of RAM, even the ones that are UK Connect upgrades. Now, if your truck came with that small display or you didn't have an updated Uconnect system to begin with, this is gonna be an excellent option for you because of how good it looks and how well it functions which really brings us nicely to the construction of it. And I really cannot stress enough how nice this thing looks when it's installed. So many aftermarket head units stick out like a sore thumb, but that really is not the case here. The bezel around the screen matches perfectly with the dash and it's clearly meant to fit the RAM. This is not something that was adapted from another application. It is specifically designed for your truck. And it is really a slick looking setup. All touch screen, no physical controls or anything like that. And if somebody got into your truck and they didn't know, they'd probably assume that this was a factory unit. So how easy is this gonna to be to install? We're gonna rate this one a two out of three on our difficulty meter. It should take you around two hours to get it all done. It's mostly because you will have to remove not only the stock stereo unit, but also the HVAC controls below it. Now the kit comes with the screen unit, as well as all these wiring harnesses that you see here on the table. And you'll, everything you need to get it hooked up is here. Now, if you've replaced the stereo before, you know it can get a little finicky, and there are a lot of harnesses out here, but it still can easily be accomplished at home. Again, everything you need comes in the box, including the GPS antenna, microphone, 
RCA cables as well as the main harnesses over here. It is good if you're at least familiar with wiring, but really you just want to make sure that you get the harnesses plugged into the correct spots. One other thing I would like to mention is that depending on what screen your truck has from the factory, you may need to do a little bit of trimming of the stock bezel in order to get this fitted. Overall, it is a straightforward install, just a little bit time consuming. But with that, let's head over to the install bay and we'll show you how to get this done on your Ram. Tools required for this install include a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a ratchet, an extension, a T15 Torx bit, and a pair of diagonal cutters. What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be installing a radio screen in our RAM, so let's get right to it. So to remove our factory radio, we have two screws up here holding it in. They're gonna be underneath this little tray. And then there's a bunch of clips running down the side, so we'll remove our screws pull back from up here and release our radio. So now we can pop off our trim cover and remove our two Phillips head screws. So now we can grab from the top here and pull back. Now this is going to be pretty tough to pull out, so you're going to have to put some force into it. So now we can disconnect our electrical harnesses. So this green one has a little tab in there. So in front of us, we have all of our harnesses laid out on the table. So we have our backup cam harness with our backup cam harness box, microphone, our cam box, our GPS antenna, our Wi-Fi antenna. We have our auxiliary output here. We've got the main harness, the satellite, our USBs, and then over here, we have auxiliary cables if you have an amp or subwoofer to hook up. And we have our DVR cable and some extra USBs. So first we can put in our satellite cable. It's gonna go in the big hole on the back of the radio. And then we can take our USBs. We're gonna go in the top right port here. And we can grab our main harness. It's gonna cook, plug in right above this fuse. And then we can take our amp input. We're gonna connect that into the main harness cam input. And then that'll plug into the back of the radio as well. And then we can take our cam inputs. And then we're gonna look for the wire labeled front cam input. And that's gonna connect up to the main harness to reverse AHD output. And then we can take our microphone, and plug it into this cord here. It's gonna be labeled on the harness side for you. And then our Wi-Fi antenna is gonna slide in over our gold port and screw right in. Then our GPS antenna is gonna be the blue to the blue. And then we can connect our two boxes. So this guy's gonna be coming off the main harness, connecting to the bottom there. And 
And then also off of our main harness, we have our camera cable that'll hook in here. So now that we have our factory radio out of the truck, we can go ahead and remove our screen. So we have four Phillips head screws surrounding the screen that we'll use a screwdriver to remove. Then after that, we have some Torx screws to remove to get our AC control out. So it's gonna be a T15 Torx bit. So now we have four more of our T15 Torx screws and our whole piece will be able to drop out through the front. And then there are actually gonna be two more T15 screws right up top. So now this radio works for both the five inch factory screen as well as the eight inch factory screen. So to run it with the five inch, you're gonna have to cut off these two top tabs. For the eight inch, it's gonna be the middle two you have to cut. So I'm gonna get in here with a pair of diagonal cutters, chop these off. So now we can take our factory trim 
and we'll slide it over our new radio place and then we can reinstall our T15 torque screws. So now with all of our harnesses reinstalled, we can go ahead and mount our GPS box and our Wi-Fi. So we'll peel off our double-sided tape, and then you just want to make sure you stick this down where there are no vents so that your heat can still escape. So we'll stick that one down right there, and then we'll do the same thing for our Wi-Fi. And then we can also connect our hazard buttons off of our main harness. And now we can get this back in the truck. So now we can start to connect our electrical harnesses and get our radio installed. So our main harness from our truck is gonna go to our main harness. And then our red connector is gonna connect to the blue on our box. Our white connector is gonna connect to our antenna. This gray connector is gonna go to the second USB cable. This guy's gonna go back to your 12 volt. 
And then this black with the red face connector is gonna connect to our AC controls on our main harness. So coming off of our speaker harness, we have the hookup for our microphone. So you'll just connect it in there. And then our mic has a clip on the back. So you can run this wire however you'd like. You can put it behind the steering wheel. You can clip it into the headliner. Wherever it feels comfortable for you. And then we can take our main harness. And make that connection. And then our red connector is going to go to our control box and connect into the blue. And then we can grab our wire for our AC controls and connect it into our radio's main harness. And connect our lower harness. And then our satellite antenna, the black connector, is gonna go to the white connector on the truck. Our gray is gonna go to the second cord coming off of the Mirlink USB. So now we can start to line up our radio with our clip locations and reconnect our 12 volt cord. Now we can reinstall our two Phillips head screws in the top. And we'll tighten those down with a screwdriver. And we can reinstall our mat. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Navos full screen 12.1 inch OE style radio upgrade with navigation for your 19 to current Ram 1500 with the 5 or 8 inch screen. Thank you for watching and remember for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.